Welcome back to Sparks of Joy Studio. I'm Natalie and today is Makeover Monday. I have uh, three different projects for you and then a fun surprise at the end. Let's get started. For project one, I have a very budget-friendly paint. This is Folk Arts Cottage White and I'm going to be mixing this with some baking soda to make a textured paint. I decided to mix this up in order to use on a variety of projects that I've started and haven't really finished, kind of got frustrated in the midst of my project and put them off to the side. I wanted to find a way to make them um, neutral, very easily used in a variety of decor, and that was why I came up with this project. Here's a face that I had gotten and I had tried out a couple different styles on it and I just wasn't happy with the way it ended up. So this is the first of many different little vases that I have that you're going to see me painting up with this mixture. For this one I tried to do a um, kind of a, I guess a pottery style type of uh, finish on it and again I just when it was done I didn't like the way it looked I think maybe I just like lighter white colors that must be um, why I keep getting drawn to the whites over some of these other um, darker neutrals I'm not going to show you me painting all of the ones that I did this with this same paint but I just wanted to kind of sh show you uh, several of them so you can see how you can have the same style paint on a variety of projects and even display them all together to make a beautiful vignette. I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays in the end. But still I am here moving on. For project two, I have this caddy that I've had forever. I would say like 10 years. And last year when I was really getting more into my crafting and becoming a little more daring, I decided to play around with this caddy and I tried painting it up in a, so many different ways. I tried to do red, you can see that I've got some black in there, I have white, I even tried the, um, what is it, the crackle method with uh, glue and um, now, and then I toss it to the side and it's been used just in my craft room holding stuff. So today we are going to be taking Jitterbug by Country Chic and I'm just going to be painting the entire caddy in this color to start. Once that's done, I'm going to be taking a variety of transfers from the Whispering Willow transfer set by IOD and I'm going to be using all of the mushrooms or m most of the mushrooms from this set and placing them randomly around all parts of the caddy. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in me you in my arms home. 
once I finish transferring all those transfers on, I'm taking some 220 grit sandpaper and lightly sanding around the edges of the caddy just to distress back a little bit to create some age on this. And then I will be taking some black wax by DIY to seal up this project. I do want to mention that before I put on the black wax, I did seal up the entire piece with Big Top by DIY. For our final project today, I have this wood round that I started um, back at Christmas time, obviously, and I ended up messing up the bottom half of it. So I started to paint over it to see if there was some way I could save the original project and it just did not happen. So I am going ahead and starting fresh with a multiple coats of Mist by Fusion. It's a beautiful light blue with like a hint of purple in it. It's a really, really pretty, I, I think it's a beautiful spring color. Once that's done, I am taking painter's tape and I'm going to be marking off evenly distributed um, lines across it with the painter's tape in order to create a kind of pinstriped uh, effect for the next step. Next, I'm going to be taking Linen White by Rust-Oleum and I'm going to be painting the stripes all the way through to create that striped effect on this piece. My favorite part with a project like this is pulling off that painter's tape once you're done. It's always scary, but when it's coming off the wood as perfectly as it is today, it is extremely satisfying. All of those stripes came out gorgeous. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous leaf wreath from the Mercantile stamp set. It's one of the new IOD transfers from 2024 spring release. Um, I got this one from Julie at Julie's Designs and Signs because my girl Sammy was out of it. It was out of stock when I wanted to get it. So I'm using IOD stone gray ink to stamp on this wreath.
Next, I'm taking some black ink and the lettering called Swoosh Stamp Set by IOD, and I'm going to be stamping on Hello. The one thing that's different about this specific stamp set is that instead of um, placing all the letters on together or in sets, you actually are going to be um, placing them on individually. So it's better to start with the middle letter and then work out if you are trying to get a more symmetrical look. And the reason that you put them on separately is because the letters do overlap to create that cursive style font. Here's a look at our finished project. As promised, here's the special surprise I have for you guys. This week is my spring break. I am a school-based speech and language pathologist and we have off this week. So to celebrate, I'm offering you 30% off anything you find on my website through April 5th. Enjoy your week and I'll see you soon.